All right, it's salmon fly season. It's gonna be here quick. So what we've got for you now is a nice, simple salmon fly pattern that's durable, pretty easy to tie, and it works. So with this one, we're gonna to wanna to wrap our thread along the entire length of the hook before we start anything. This is a pattern I developed a couple years ago. I was sick of tying complicated salmon fly patterns and tying ones that weren't durable and fell apart after a fish or two. So, came up with this. And it, you know, it's really an easy pattern. There's not much to it, but it's worked well for me. It works as well as a grasshopper or cicada pattern as well. Pretty versatile. Okay, so we're gonna wrap our thread basically all the way back to the bend of the hook. <clears throat> and then we want two pieces of foam. An orange one and a black one. And cut the black one just a little bit wider than the orange one. And we're going to tie these in right on top of each other. Also, when you before you cut these, you want them tied, you know, one and a third to one and a half times the length of the hook shank, because we're going to fold them back over to form the head. Okay, so we want to leave a little bit of overlap, a little bit sticking out behind the fly, not too much, but a little bit, and we're just going to wrap both of those in with the black one on top. Here's where we want to get, you know, a few good solid wraps in. Make sure those guys are really secure on there. Okay, just a couple more. Let's see what it looks like there. Okay, and now we're simply going to wrap forward and segment this body. Just going to come, take a couple wraps underneath over the top, make a little segment, a couple wraps secure it down, a couple wraps underneath, make another segment, secure it down, and we're just going to work our way doing this um, as we go forward. Making a segment of the body here. And you know, your segments don't have to be perfectly even. Just try and make them look somewhat even. That's my, my rule of thumb. We'll do one more here. This will be a smaller one, I guess. It's all right. Okay. And then, right behind that, we're going to wrap over both of them. We're going to clip this black one off about even with the eye. So right there. Tie this down. And we're going to go back, and so this is my last segment here, that little guy. I'm going to go back and wrap over all this. We're going to tie in our wing behind this, so we don't need to worry about keeping those segments. Okay, we just want to make sure it's all secured up here at the front. Okay, so there we go. So I've got that all wrapped over. And now, it's time for my wing. So for the, the under wing, I like to use, you know, Flashaboo or Polar Flash, Crystal Flash. You can also use um, some Calf Tail, Para Wing, you know, some kind of white, light colored wing material. So what I'm going to use right now is I'm going to use some Flashaboo. And I just like to get it... So I get a good, pretty good, thick clump of it here. Cut a few fibers out. Fold them in half a couple times. Okay. So let's say I've got what I want here. I'm going to grab this. And tie it in right there.
kind of like these things going all over the place because you'll get salmon flies on the water. You know, they're kind of, they're an all over the place kind of fly. So get that guy tied in there. Clip off all the extra I've got under there. tied on there and now over this <clears throat> I'm going to tie in some elk hair so I've got some loaded up in the stacker already pull it out just clean him up a little bit here I like to tie this in just behind the butt there. So we're gonna grab that. And if you, you know, you can flare this out as much as you want. Like I said, those salmon fly wings tend to go all over the place from the water. So you can flare that out quite a bit. You can come back in here and Clip off all my extras. There's little goodies hanging off. All right, tie this down. We don't have to make this totally go away. We're gonna fold this foam back over the top. But we'll make just about like this. Then, what we're gonna do is fold this back over as our head. That'll kind of push that wing out, give us a little more flare. Tie it in right there. Put that guy. I like to tie a yellow tag on here. Um, this flies big, so it doesn't necessarily really need it. But, it just makes it a lot easier for me to see these things in the water. So, I'm going to tie in a tag of yellow foam right on top of that guy. And then, a couple of rubber legs and we'll be done here. So grab these rubber legs. Get them lined up so they're even. Get a couple of loose wraps on there. Adjust them a little bit. Tie them down. That guy's a little bit bent, so he's gonna sit out there a little funny. That's okay. These salmon flies are all over the place, so it doesn't matter a whole lot what those legs are doing. And gonna whip finish this guy. We got caught, there we go. Pull him up underneath there. Give him one more. Clip off that thread. And there you go, there's your salmon fly. Now I'm gonna trim this stuff back here just a little bit. You know, it doesn't matter if it sticks out too much, but I like it to be, you know, somewhat even with my other wing. It usually sticks out a little farther, but it'll make it look too goofy. And then I'm going to come under here and just trim these fellas back so they're not a completely blunt square end. I'm just shorten them up just a little there. Do the other side. And there you go. You can see our nice segmented body underneath the fly there. You can see those wings. 
poking out. You see that underwing and those nice rudder legs on there. So that's an easy way to tie a simple salmon fly. Enjoy.